In the next few lessons, we're going to be talking about some longer chord progressions. And to start us off in that direction, we're actually going to start at the end of the chord progression with something called a cadence. A cadence is simply a stopping place in music. Um, usually, it's at the end of a, a piece of music, but you'll often find stopping places in the middle of pieces as well. For right now, we're basically talking about cadences at the end of music. Let's take a look, look at this example. <clears throat> Um, first, let's establish the key that we're in, as always. It's no sharps, no flats, lowest note of the last chord is C, so we're in C major. If we look at this first chord, the notes are G, B, and D. That means it's a five chord, a dominant chord. And finally, this chord is C, E, and G, which is the tonic chord, so it's a one chord. Now, this type of cadence, 5-1 is called an authentic cadence. Anytime you see a chord progression at the end of a piece of music that, that ends with 5-1, that's an authentic cadence. Now, there are actually two different types of authentic cadences. To figure out the two different types, you actually look at the soprano note of the last chord. Okay. If the soprano note is the tonic of the key, then it's called a perfect authentic cadence. So, the soprano note is the tonic. We're in the key of C major, therefore the tonic is C. So, <clears throat> this is a perfect authentic cadence, and you simply indicate that cadence by writing PAC. <clears throat> now, if the soprano note is any other note besides the tonic, let's say that it's a G, then it's called an imperfect authentic cadence, and you simply write IAC to indicate an imperfect authentic cadence. So again, if the soprano note of the last chord is the tonic of the key, it's a perfect authentic cadence. If it's any other note, it's an imperfect authentic cadence. Okay. Do a little practice with that, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about these cadences in the next lesson.